Not only is it election day, but we now continue our Celebrate Cities series this morning from the Bay, Bay St. Louis. Rob and Ansley are live from Mockingbird Cafe this morning, celebrating the seat of Hancock County. Rob joins us live now with a dive into the history of the city. Good morning, Rob. Hey, good morning, Grant. Uh, like you said, buddy, we are here in the Bay St. Louis area. You know, a couple of weeks ago, buddy, you and I were enjoying a delicious breakfast in, uh, at, in Blue Sail at Jerry Lee's this morning. My little buddy back there behind the camera, Ansley Brent, and I are here in Bay St. Louis. First of all, we're at the Mockingbird Cafe. This is such a quaint little cafe. Uh, Ansley and I, we've been taking a look at the menu, uh, the drink selection, and Man, the, uh, the, the setup here at Mockingbird, the inside uh, area as well as the outside area, they have an outside sitting area on both sides. Uh, beautiful little place. But first, let me say this, folks, if you have not been to Bay St. Louis recently, you are missing out on a ton of activity. It seems like every weekend they have something happening in the outdoor air event area, um, especially when we get towards the March, April, May time frame, you know, the spring time frame where the weather is so beautiful. And then again in the autumn uh, months, summer is happening here as well. You just have to be able to tolerate the heat. But then again, we're talking about the Bay St. Louis area. There's always such a beautiful breeze coming into this area. So back to the drive, we went down Highway 49, took a uh, right and then started heading west along the beachfront. Again, it's been a couple of years since I've been here. When I say a couple of years, I mean that a couple of years. It's like 2002, uh, the latter part of 2002, since we've been out here enjoying uh, lunch and uh, the view out here. I forgot how beautiful and pristine and how peaceful the drive is on Highway 90 as you start heading west. Of course, west of Highway 49, it gets a little secluded. Once you get past Jeff Davis and continue west into the past Christiane area, it's really secluded there. The view is gorgeous. The beautiful uh, star-filled night. We were looking south over the sound in the Gulf of Mexico, enjoying the ship lights and the uh, stars out there. So Bay St. Louis, gorgeous area, that beautiful new Bay St. Louis Bridge, it still looks brand new uh, coming into the Bay St. Louis area. So folks, let me give you a little bit of history that we have here on Bay St. Louis. And one of the beautiful things about Celebrate Cities, doing the research, it really enlightens me as to the history behind here. Of course, you know me, I'm an original New Yorker, but I learned so much with these, uh, these little snippets that we do. So let me say this, back in 1698, 1698 folks, King Louis the 16th, King of France, he was able to achieve a lifelong goal of locating the Mississippi River, and he dispatched a couple of people, and these names will sound familiar. Pierre Lemoyne, Sir D'Iberville, and Jean, Jean Baptiste Lemoyne, Sir de Bienville, to locate the river, which they did successfully. On August 25th, 1699, Bienville explored the Bay of St. Louis and claimed it for Louis IX, the King of France, who led both crusades into the Holy Land. So after the Louisiana Purchase in 1803, the territory was opened up to homesteaders. Folks, in a three-year time frame after 1803 to 1806, this area really blossomed with hundreds of people coming into the Bay St. Louis in the South Mississippi area. The town was finally incorporated in 1818, but it was incorporated as Shields Borough. Again, this is in 1818, and eventually the city of Bay St. Louis in 1882. So about 145 years ago, circa 145 years ago, that's when it was dubbed the city of Bay St. Louis. In 1814, during the War of 1812, the bay was the scene of naval engagement against the British, known as the Battle of Pass Christiane. That is some historical value, it's historical knowledge that I think a lot of locals should know or would like to know. Uh, in the late 20th century, casinos established the area, whether they were legal or otherwise, it did help uh, fuel the growth of the city significantly, increasing tourism as well as the local economy. Uh, Bay St. Louis, as we know, it lies on the southern and the southeastern portion of the Hancock County area. So a lot of good history about this beautiful place. And of course, after Katrina, everywhere here in South Mississippi was ravaged. Now, it's been close to 20 years. We're going on 19 years later in August. And 
It looks like this place has been rejuvenated, folks. The aesthetics of the view along the bay, the businesses, the restaurants, the bars, the eclectic scene that they have, not to mention the multitude of outdoor events they have here on the weekends. It is definitely a big draw here in Bay St. Louis. You got to come check them out. So a little bit of history for you. Coming up next, we're going to be back. We're going to be talking about some of the upcoming events Beginning at the 6 o'clock hour, we're going to have some guests, business owners, uh, local leaders that's going to inform you about uh, some of the uh, history as well as some of the happenings here in the Bay St. Louis area.